Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Goldstream Park here on Thursday. It is the 10th of February, 2022. I'm going to look at the 7th race from Goldstream, but before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Hit 5 for more selections for race courses around the world, and I mean around the world. Let's look at the 7th race from Goldstream, which is allowance optional claimer per $61,000. Race for Phillies and Mayors, 4-year-olds and upwards, number 1, 10,000, twice a min claiming starter, or it's number 1, uh, a race on the mile on the turf uh, since November the 10th or blah 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 blah, blah. I'm still claiming price $35,000 we have a field of 8 horses heading hopefully to the turf course um, but they've been very you know if they get a tiniest tiniest bit of rain they've been carring these races to PETA so hopefully they go to turf because on Thursday's program uh, two, whatever it was Wednesday for some reason today feels like Friday um, don't know why but um with, you know, on Wednesday's program at Goldstream, they did move all the races to the Tapito because of the um, the rain. Hopefully the turf course dries up where they can run this race. The distance of ground on the turf of 2,400 meters or the distance of ground of a mile and one half on the Goldstream Park turf course, 2,400 meters, mile and a half. And I show the diagram. Just gives me a second to look down my notes. Just bear with me. I'm going to go with the number eight horse here. Federal, Federalist Papers will go 8673 in the Superfecta. 8673 Super. Top selection Eight horse Federalist Papers. This four year old filly back more than ready. Chad Brown trains. I read a tease junior against the mount. The horse is most recent out in Kid 26 of November at Aqueduct on a good outer turf course. Mount 316 to Lounge Race 82,000. And the horse finished third by two lengths there. And he had a horrible, horrible trip. He sat back early. Took a little bit of time to get going. He got through late, but it was just a little bit too late. Going to a mile and a half. I'd like to see him a little bit farther placed. I think he has enough stamina and enough class to beat these horses here today. Two back of the horse ran the 1st of October at Belmont, a mile and eighth inner turf course, lounge race, non 2000, non 1X. Um, he finished six by three and a quarter lengths there and was just stupidly, stupidly wide and just never really showed anything. That inner turf course plays towards speed. Deep close, just not uh, to their advantage there. And then before that, Saratoga on 3rd September, mile and eighth on the inner and a main special weight, 100,000. First time facing horse, uh, older horses. First time off the long refreshing, the horse went by three quarters in length, closing up from nowhere. I thought that was a very good race, basically almost from gate to wire, uh, from um, from dead last to uh, to victory there, and the final stretch running all around. Good race for her there. And then prior to that, the horse ran the 14th of March at Tampa, mile eighth on the inner turf course and main special weight. The horse finished fifth by one three quarter lengths and had a very troubled trip again, which cost her. But he's been training very well here. Mile and a half should suit him well. Five two, let's use her. The six horse Champagne Ivy, I think, is her second leg loose winner. One, uh, nearly won going a mile and a half on the Tapito a few weeks ago here uh, an optional 35. First time over the longer trip. Legs running on the turf. Can sit closer. Versatile type. A 3-1 to one will use his horse. And also the 7-horse Song of Innocence. Uh, Two-back race at Belmont was very nicely run. Uh, last time out, need the race on turf. Back to a longer trip. It wouldn't surprise me if this horse gets a good trip. 5-1. to one. Definitely use him in the slate pick four. But to recap my selection for the seven from Goldstream, let's take the eight horse Federalist Papers. Give kudos to the six horse Champagne Ivy and the seven horse Song of Innocence. Eight, six, seven, three super. Let's go eight, six, seven in the multi race. So good luck to them. Please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get Five. Good luck, everybody.